think money is a nice love language. She'll be like, it's not money, it's not money. I just say, but to me, money is a love language. And maybe, maybe acts of service. But I know money is number one. If you don't have it, she can love you, but maybe not genuinely. Uh uh. You guys cost me. This guy is not genuinely. Please, I'm. Um, she all this small perspective money. Oh, I'm sick. Send me money. I want to buy shit. Send me money. You know what my daddy knows because she's always. channel the other sugar channel so today i'm having a sister tag with my sister my one and only sister introduce yourself <laughs> um hi guys what's up welcome back to the channel this is like my official just my official appearance or something i don't know what a video to get up for like um yes 50 50 days yeah but here's the official sister tag like so just sit back and enjoy this video because you're going to love it. And if you are not subscribed, just click the subscribe button. Subscription is free. Please, please, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love to read your comments and you can share it to your friends and family. Okay? Now let's get straight into the video. First of all, okay, we have introduced you. have told them your name, right? Okay, in fact, if this is your first time watching my video, my name is Ada Adeze, and this is my sister, my younger sister actually. She's your mom. We are for non Igbo people that don't know Ada, you grab that kind of thing. So. Okay, now, so let's get. I'll be asking her some questions. I have 10 questions here, and I'm going to be asking her, you know, just something a bit spicy. So, the first question is how was it like growing up with me she's going to answer the questions and i'm also going to give my own like my own view on it so how was it like growing up with me I'm not to be yeah you can be honest just don't embarrass me too much <laughs> <laughs> well um it was very very annoying for sure like very very annoying because ada was like so annoying i feel like she has been annoying all my life until was it 2018 or 2019 when we had this strike and we had to live in this house together, like all my life she has been annoying, but I lost siblings at four. You just have to deal with them. You know she's saying I was annoying, but when I was younger too, she was always so annoying. I think it's a normal thing. She was always, always annoying me. And because of we're just like after each other, we're immediate siblings. Like it was so annoying when it comes to sharing the house chores, like all those things were so no, you, we both do work, but like, you know, when we were younger, I went our turn to wash plates. We used to do one day on, one day off. Like, we used to share the washing plates. I know I wash plates. Though. Yeah, you wash plates, but at times, when is my time to wash plates? We we'll go and hide all the conflict <laughs> plates. Like, that time, my dad is not always around, so we we'll go and hide all the plates in his room. Like, because you don't want to wash plates, you can't hide it in his room. And then when is the other person's day, you now bring it out. And it will be so annoying, but you just have to wash it. So we always... We're just always trying to get back at each other, Sha, but last, last. Yeah. But now we are cool. Yeah, now we are cool. Thank God for strike. And now we are on another strike. <laughs> As in a strike just had to make us yeah, talk. Because then we are like forced to be together for the really long. Yeah, we are on that strike. As we made this compulsory. Yeah. And now we are on another as to strike. Tragic. So the next question. Describe me in three words. In three words, like good words or bad words. Any words. Any okay, words. you can use three good words, three bad words, anyone. Just uh, find me. Okay. Three good words. I don't know. I you're nice. What else is there? You come through for me at times and I like need something. And what else? Well you always buy food when you go out. Like, when you're from the like, oh, Chema, you want rice, you want this. That's really nice. And I have three bad words, like uh, sorry, like I three bad um, descriptions. I like I'm so annoying, like making loud phone calls. I feel like I don't like when people make phone calls beside me because I hardly ever take phone calls. So I feel like if you have a call, you should move somewhere else. But she's always doing that. It's so annoying and irritating. Like it annoys the hell out of me. And you're that bad too. Nothing, just a phone call. I think that's just call. Yeah. And maybe not putting some things where she took them from. Just take it from somewhere and put it somewhere else and. I kind of like everything where I put it, so it's a dream. Okay, fair enough. 
Are you going to say my? Yeah, I'm going to describe you. <laughs> <words. laughs> okay. okay, the first thing I'm going to describe you. Well, Chama is really um, the good word. She's really handy. Let me put it that way. Yes, yeah, so she's handy really one. handy. Like. Me, I'm not really, I'm not a handy person. Minus this, my YouTube that forced me to be handy with a lot of things. I'm not really a handy person, but Chama is handy. She can change bulbs, fix the lights, do the gem, plaster the wall, mix cement. Like, <laughs> she, like she's very handy. Without this, she can like, like fixing the bulb, doing all those things. And like all these gen related things, she knows them. I'm seriously not interested at all. Like when I was the only one living here, I, I never turn on the gen myself. I always go and call the gate man. But she she you just go turn it off then you know eh? me, no way, I gotta call the gate man. I'm not even up for that. <laughs> and another thing is she well she's she's a good um well account well she's an accounting student, she's a good accounting student, she knows that accounting and try and put the money well. Me, just give me the money I asked for. That's it. Let us be fine. Let us not have issues. And we'll be cool. Just give me the money I asked for. And another thing about you, you are. Well, I'm not a shy. can be really nice. And she can also come through for you. She can be nice. There are times, catch madam, she likes to feel herself. But she can be nice. Too. Don't anybody feel me. Oh. Then. The, the, the thing I don't like about Shoma is that she's not a get up and go person. That, that's just the thing I don't like about Chama. Like me now, I'm a get up and go person. If you call me for something in two hours, I can I can fix it into my schedule sharp sharp and like get up and go. Like I don't have to think of something too much before I do it. But Chama, if you want to go out next two days, you have to tell her to when I'm not your boyfriend I'm booking appointments with you. You have to boo. You have to tell her, she'll tell you, oh, I have to wake up, I have to position my mind, I have to do this, I have to I don't know, like, Sorry. I just wonder, she can't just get up and go. That's why most times when it involves going out to get things, I'm the one that does it because I don't need to sit down and draft how I'm going to go somewhere. Yeah, like, I'm just a get up and go person, that's it. So another thing, what's the most annoying thing I've done to you? Hmm. I don't, I don't know, I can't place which one is higher than the other, because you do look annoying. I can't, I can't, I know, I just can't think of any way, so I don't know. What's this annoying situation? Well, one annoying thing I know you used to do to me that I don't like is when it comes to some things, like, like before, eh, the yam, this one, that one, the plant is and do this one, this one, that one, that one, why do you take it, why do you use this one? Please, let me uh, explain this. Wait, thing. I understand. Like, yes, I understand. I don't. Yes, everybody has what they always plan to do something. I thought if I would just go and randomly take something, but then like, you used to use too much Cameroon pepper. You used to I use too, used I'm, to going, I'm going to be licking the Cameroon pepper. See, I just like to plan everything out. I want my friend that she doesn't understand that it takes a lot of reasoning and planning to like align all these things. Like, it's not just to run a home at all. But she just cook everything at once. I just cook everything at once. I see that you take a little Cameroon pepper, the, this one, the, that one, the salt, the baggy. Ah, I don't know. I used to be like, what's all this one? Anyway. It's just that most times, now you plan a meal for the next day. She will not go in the night and cook it. And it's like, if you cook it this night, what are you going to eat tomorrow? Like, I feel everything just has to be planned. Mm, nice, so nice. Look at that I'm a semi perfectionist. Nice, look at that I'm not that just to do things anyhow. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Yes. What is the sweetest thing I've done for you? I think she's always buying me food. You know, she goes out, she just call me randomly. What do you yeah, want? I'm mm -hmm. Like, it's almost expected when she goes out. Of course, she's going to buy food. Yeah, actually, like, I somehow like the thing out. Yeah, I like the thing out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the thing out. So I just like buying food, like buying small, small food, just go to step with me. The sweetest thing I've done for me, mm -hmm. you know, you have done a lot of sweet things. I can't really place my finger on one particular thing. Okay. Well, at least the sweet thing she does for me, at least relating to this, my YouTube is that at times I use her as my props manager, it never takes light, it helps me around the gym, um, you know, help me and do some things. At times when I want to go out and I don't want to do my makeup, it helps me and do my makeup. Like, help me and, at times, help me and pick up my clothes. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's just weird. They said So, hey, this question now. Who do you think is daddy's favorite? <laughs> Daddy, can you come answer that? Because I don't know the answer to that. They like just say the truth. Say the truth. <laughs> I don't know the I can't say favorite. Favorite feels like a strong word. Uh, well, Neil, honestly, I know mean, I my daddy likes me, but I don't really think I'm his favorite per se. I think he likes Choma because she's handy. He can tell her about the gen and all those stuff. I think he likes Samuel because she's handy. I don't know. I know he likes me too, but I can't really. I don't really think I'm his favorite I per se. I can say who he likes to an extent. I think it's just natural to like that child who is kind of like like you. I think like mind. Should I say mind like or mind wise or something? We are a lot alike. Yeah, understand? because you always support daddy. I mean, I'm always supporting mommy. No matter what. Are you trying to yes. I'm always. not cutting for it, I'm just team team supporting mommy always. So yeah, so what do you think is mommy's favorite? Yeah, that one too is very very hard. My, you can't even know who my mommy's favorite is. I think we we change. It, it depends. Yeah, it's seasonal. It's seasonal. Mommy. Yeah, you can come back this time and your favorite she's always talking with you. Then the next week she just as she doesn't know. It's good to call you. <laughs> Mommy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to tell who's my mom's favorite, honestly. And we have two brothers, too, so I don't know, it's really hard to tell. But daddy, I don't know, if you look at it in some angles, it seems like, I don't know. It's hard to tell who is daddy's favorite, too, somehow. It's hard to tell, but let's just put that topic aside. Let's put that topic aside. At least, if he cares for all of us, that's enough. You know, so now, what is my dream job or career? <laughs> I want to work in Afghanistan, Somalia, all those kind of places. Or well, she actually wants to work in the Ministry of Education. Or she wants to go to all those countries that are, that are devastated and their economic crisis. Not, I just want to work in Afghanistan. That's it. That it has always been my dream to work with the United Nations. Like that's that's my dream job to work with the United Nations. And since I'm, I'm studying pharmacy, I'm in the health line, I, won't, I, I seriously don't mind if I get posted to the entire displaced camps or places where they have been bombed and they need care, you know, to go with the medical team. And those places are, for now, a lot of people are in Afghanistan. But let's even come down to Nigeria in Borno State. I really don't mind because I see that it's a service to humanity. And those people really need you. They need your services and there's really nothing they can do. So I don't, I don't see it as a big deal. Like I don't see it as a big deal working in those places. Obviously, I'm going to be there on contract, so it's not as if I'll be based there forever. Actually, I see it as a privilege to be able to help those people. And I also see it as a, another job that was my like dream career was to work in. Like I love the airport. I like to work in an airline, all those quarantine sessions. Why are you exposing yourself to danger? It's not like I'm exposing myself to danger. Those people they need it, so I don't mind being of help. That's just. It. And Chairman's dream job is to work in the World Bank. Really? Yeah. yeah to be at the Okonjo-Iwala's level. Yeah, those are gold. Yeah, but that man is gold, Shah. Yes, please. There's a difference between Okonjo-Iwala and Desiad. There's a difference, though. Yeah, so. so. Both of them are cool, they're sure rich, but we can just have more bread. Yeah. So, what's, what's my favorite car, but like my dream car? I don't know what it's called, it's like My dream car is a Lamborghini. Like, I love when I just have one, I got I it. Like, seriously, my dream car is a Lamborghini. I love that car. The car, everything about the car is so cheap, like, so beautiful, so. In fact, I didn't know my color was white and there's this pop orange color that is so fine. So, mm, not really like burnt orange, but there's this orange Lamborghini. Like, I certainly like Lamborghini. But Ben's too are nice, but I like Lamborghini. Then for you, so I don't know, I've never really heard you talking about any kind of pasta. I think you just like a car that is good and comfortable and nice, flashy. Yeah, maybe a Ben or something. I don't know if you're going to be Like a big car. Why are you pulling? I'm going to pull up, then I, yeah, somebody has arrived. Yeah. Let's have cards, you see, I want to, like, who's coming down? Hey guys, thank you for watching up to this point. Please watch out for the part two of this sister tag. I'm going to be posting it next week. Yeah. I like big cards, so my dream, my dream love.